Last winter, I got an email from a friend of mine named Drew Fazy. Drew is a very nice guy and is quite involved in trying to improve the civic life of our town of Ocean City, New Jersey. He wrote to ask if I'd be interested in making a little film about a street painting project he was helping to plan. Knowing Drew, I figured it would be a pretty cool thing, so I happily agreed. It turns out that I got to meet some very committed people from all walks of life who had teamed up to make our community a better place. A group called Community Art Projects asked high school students to come up with a design that would then be painted at the intersection of 20th Street and Haven Avenue. Haven Avenue is being used as a bike path. I'm Leslie Skibo. I'm president of Community Art Projects. And so was this your brainchild? We decided that a conjunction with the police department that we were going to do this as a traffic calming measure and also to be able to bring public art to Ocean City, which is what CAP does. Our whole mission statement is to beautify Ocean City with the creation of public art, whether it's murals or sculptures or street painting. We've been in existence for about four years. We totally exist on donations from the community and we just, as soon as we raise enough money, we do an art project. In four years, we've been lucky enough to collect enough money to do about eight projects. Are you the founder? Yes. I enjoy art. I used to be a contemporary quilt artist, and I just saw a blank wall and said, let's start to see if we can't do some public art in town, and it just literally grew from that. The winning design was created by a student named Rachel Belezzi. And on Saturday, April 25th, 2009, volunteers came together to draw it out on the pavement. Hi, Rachel. So you won the contest to yeah. pick. Do you have your design on a piece of paper? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, all right. This was the original design. Wow. Uh, can you explain this program or what's going on? Um, well, it was a contest the city put on. Uh, my art class, Mrs. Mulford, as an assignment, gave us the papers and said, you draw a design, and then I handed mine in, and it won to be the first one drawn on the streets. Well, my idea was to make it so you can see it from all directions as you drive. I did sailboats because I live across the street from the bay, and it just reminds me of Ocean City all the time. A police sergeant named Charles Simonson told me about the police department's role in this project. And I'm Sergeant Charles Simonson from the Traffic Safety Unit for the Police Department. Uh, the reason we're doing the project is to try and incorporate art into our traffic calming countermeasures throughout the uh, entire route of the bike route. Um, on all of our four-way intersections, we're going to try and apply some art to draw attention to the four-way intersections, hopefully increase traffic safety awareness in the process. Um, on our bike routes, we have lower speed limits, um, four-way stop signs, and the Sharrow. The what? The Shara, which is a marking in the MUTCD that says that bikes and cars are to share the lane. Not um, Sharia law like the Taliban? No. Oh, okay. Shara. Shara, okay. Like a sparrow with an H. <laughs> the next day was a beautiful sunny day, and tons of city residents turned out to volunteer for a day of fun and painting. We have sort of beautiful girls to liven up the video. Okay. Hello. What Hello. do you think of this movie? I this? think it's wonderful. And are you right a resident there. or yes. a taxpayer? Yes. <laughs> and how much money did you give to this lady? My time. Oh, are you painting? Yes. And how about you? Oh, yes. We're fully involved. Oh, very <laughs> good. Support the community. A friend of Drew's named Tom Heist told me a little bit about how this whole project came into existence. And I understand you donated the paint or something, or you helped uh, in some way? Well, we did donate the paint. Um, it's, a, it's obviously an awesome cause, uh, something where the community can come together and really enjoy, enjoy what Ocean City has to offer. There's a website called Street Films, and on Street Films they highlight projects that are around the country that other communities are doing to make their their towns uh, safer for bicyclists and, and pedestrians. And out in Seattle or Portland, one of those towns, they came together and uh, I saw this project. I'm like, wow, this is really cool. So I sent, I think, Drew the link to it. And he's like, 
And this is something that we could do here. Well, Drew then forwarded that email on to Leslie and Cap, and, and really it gained momentum from the people that said, hey, we can do this here. Uh, this is the wave lady. She's always drawing her waves. <laughs> How come you're redoing your waves? Uh, so that we can see it a little bit easier when we go to paint. The blue was just, it wasn't oh, I out see. enough. So it just gives it a little bit of uh, a stronger delineation. What's your name and who are you? My name is Rody O'Rourke. I'm Rodeo? Rody O'Rourke. Oh, Rodeo. Rody <laughs> O'Rourke, okay. <laughs> I'm uh, vice president of the Community Arts Projects and I run a local art gallery in town. What do you think of this? Nice, nice. Are you from around here? I live in Rikers Street. So you get to look out your window at the painting? I hope it's going to look nice. Uh huh. We love it. We love art. <laughs> are you from around here? Yes. yes. We are the Jamisons. The Jamisons? Mm -hmm. All right. And so you know about this project the where. Family of artists from Ocean City. Painters? Mm hmm. Uh huh. Are you a Jamison also? I'm a Jamison, but now Clark. Uh, let's see, is this a young Clark? Yeah, this is a young little Phelan. Phelan Clark. Phelan or? Phelan. Phelan. Hi, Phelan. Are you a boy or a girl? I think you're a girl. Because <laughs> you have a, a pink hat. A boy with a pink hat on. <laughs> That's been known. Could we get Phelan to roll around, put some paint on her feet, and let her just walk around and help uh, paint? She can't walk. She's only five months. Crawling but would be good. Try. She can't crawl yet either. Oh. <laughs> You look like uh, that, The Rock. Yeah, oh, thank you. A, thank you. A very youthful looking uh, police chief. Are you? He's joking, right? He's not joking. Okay, so what's your name? Chad Callahan. Oh, you are the police chief. I am. Chief. I am. Oh, right. Do you need ID? No, just don't okay. harass me. So uh, tell me a little bit about, what, what do you think about all that? Well, it's good. It's good that our traffic safety unit teamed up with the Community Arts Project and the high school. You know, we've been working with the high school for many years now, and this is a great day. Uh, talking to one of the residents who live right down the street here. It's, it's great for the community to come out and do this. Do you find that, uh, generally speaking, artists are less likely to be criminals than the average person? I don't know about that. I, we, we look at artists hard. We really do. Especially <laughs> here in Ocean City with all the murals we're going up. Well, hold on a second. I'm talking to somebody. Can you say hi? Hi. What's your name? Brian. Ryan. Are you a sergeant? Yeah. What are you? And what is your role in this world? Oh, absolutely. I'm just a helper. <laughs> we like helpers, I think. Actually, I am on CAB. I'm on the committee. Did you do a design also? No. Why not? Because I wanted to do Rachel's. And style. It's got a style in, in Ocean City. Yes, we're very West Coast now. I feel like we're bringing the West Coast to the East Coast. How co can you East meets Oregon. West, pardon the pun. That, you know, with the compass and everything. <laughs> I'm Blezzi, Rachel's brother. Are you jealous as all get out? <laughs> nah, I'm really proud of her. She did a great job. I'm Vicki Blezzi, Rachel's mom. And what do you think of uh, your daughter's accomplishment here? Oh, I think it's great. She's such a talented young lady, and, uh, and it's so exciting for her artwork to be put on display in the middle of the Ocean City for everyone to see. Drew Fazy, I'm the uh, chairman of the Advisory Council on Physical Fitness and Sports. And among other things, our Advisory Council is involved in um, biking initiatives here in Ocean City, trying to make Ocean City a bike-friendly community make it safe for families and kids to uh, to ride here in town. I didn't know about the contest previously, but one of my friends uh, was actually the winner. Rachel. So, yeah. That's a nice design, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. These are just bad, little uh, junior badges for the kids that we hand out. Should I get one? Yes, you absolutely I can, can give it to my grandson. Yes. <laughs> Maybe I'll wear it. Can I use this to stop people uh, uh, on the highway? Yeah, it won't work. That now, that okay. I wouldn't like that. <laughs> How are you doing? This is a terrific project. It's a combination of a bunch of things. It's part to get the community involved in doing something together, and that's really been very successful. In part, it's an aesthetic uh, consideration. Uh, in terms of trying to make the city more attractive. Uh, and in part, it's a traffic slowing device. So it really benefits the city in a number of different ways. I think the plan is to see how this one is received by the community. I think it's going to be received very well and then move on and do other intersections.